Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time we solved a penguin murder mystery, which I gotta say was probably the most fun I've ever had starting out a chapter in this game. It was very different than anything else we've done so far in this game. Plus the game kind of took a really dark turn and then it came back, you know, so it wasn't like all the way there, but it was, it was something unexpected, which I really, really enjoyed. So today we're just going to be progressing on here in Shiver City seeing if we can make our way to the next area of the game so anyways guys before we begin do me a favor and drop a like on this video i would really appreciate it last time we got the clear from everyone that we're free to leave the city if we want so we're gonna head east that is where the adventure is taking us today uh, I do not recall though if I yeah I did explore this area. Hey, look at that! This guy's here. I don't remember ever seeing you. What's your name? For puffin's sake, the mayor's wife is an alarmist. Although I bet everyone involved in that case would agree that my detective work was perfect. I can disagree with that. I definitely do not agree that your detective work was any good. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys said the same thing yesterday. That dude should be stripped of anything law enforcement he has. Because he clearly was a terrible detective. But yeah, anyways, uh, we definitely did not make our way over here. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 hey. <gasps> It's this guy again. Oh, man. I've been waiting for you, Mario. I've been here forever. How did you know I was going to get there? Like, what if this guy is literally the key to everything? He just knows everything before it even happens. I was getting desperate. I thought I was going to freeze. This place is freezing, and it's cold and nasty and icy. I hate it. I can't take it anymore. I got to get out of here. I'm going to beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm. You ready, Ice Boy? Let's do it! Alright, man, here we go. We're battling this big baby once again. Every single time we battle him, he learns a cool new technique. As you see, he literally just said that. I learned a cool new technique. Check it out. Alright, what cool new technique did you learn? Last time he had wings. Today he has a staff. Look at this, that magic piece of work. I've been uh, taking a little magic course on the side. And now you're going to be my final exam. Yeah, I'm going to win this time. Okay, so we got to make sure we take this dude out as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and supercharge my jump attack to increase it by three. And then I'm going to go ahead and use out of sight to protect Mario from being attacked by this dude's magic. Just to kind of see what this guy has. Mario, you like magic tricks. You won't like this one. All right, let's see. What is it? Haha, -ha, sucker. He thought he was Kamek, didn't he? All right, so now that we have our supercharge already ready to go, we're going to go ahead and attack him with power bounce. I hope it works. I hope it's... Yeah, good thing it worked. Okay, I was going to say, man, I don't know if his shell is going to, you know, act like a, like a, you know, a defense mechanism for him or not, but... Oh, he went ahead and attacked me. Wow, doing seven damage. Ha ha ha. That felt fantastic. I just keep on getting better. Well, you got it. You, you definitely tell yourself whatever it is you need to tell yourself to make yourself feel better about everything that you do in life. So I'm going to go ahead and just do another jump attack. It's kind of weird how when you do out of sight with Bo on Mario, uh, she doesn't get her second attack right away. It's just they get an attack, which is weird. But it makes sense because she went first, then Mario, and then him. So... Yes, that's how I got to look at it. But anyways, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, slap him silly. Wow, there we go. Is he dead? Oh, no, he's not dead. All right, here he comes again with another one of these attacks. Dang it. Doing once again seven damage. Oh, man, this is getting a little tricky for me. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to kill this guy or not. But here we go once again with a nice and clean power bounce. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, we're doing the damage. We should have probably, he you know, supercharged it up. But it's all good. We didn't need to, I guess, once again. Here we go with another fan smack. Oh, yeah. Come on, I got this one. I got this one in the bag. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, I barely managed to make it. Kind of sucks because you got to click it really fast. All right, here he goes once again with this. Oh, man, I'm down to 9 HP. Okay, so this is time for the big guns to come out. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Smooch. She's going to go ahead and kiss me, restore 20 HP of mine. Uh, and then that's going to take away three of my star power abilities. But it's all good, you know, because we're doing it for a great cause. I'm just going to go ahead and smack this guy. Honestly, there's no point in doing uh, fan. Oh, wow. See, I knew it wasn't going to work. I had the hunch just because my fan smack wasn't really doing as much damage as it normally does, but I didn't want to really do anything about it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do 
I man, supercharge, I don't know if it's even worth it, to be honest, man. Just because I'm gonna have to waste a turn, uh, just supercharging it, and then, I'm oh, now, there you go, so it's a good thing I didn't supercharge it, and we gained 24, uh, star points out of that one, so, definitely worth it, nonetheless, no, dude, don't you ever come around this part of town again, man, I will literally mess up your life, you have no idea what I'm capable of, dude, I've had a pretty successful career, man, jumping on things and people so yeah i'm headed back here because i want to heal up I, like there's no way i'm going to continue on with uh with the way that i am right now like we just need grandma toad according to you guys she's not a grandma let me take a good look at her again oh my gosh guys you are right she is not a grandma dude okay let's be real here those earmuffs that she's wearing do look like little buns like hair buns you know and the fact that they're white goes to just even add further more that hey that could potentially be an old lady toad Plus, her blushing cheeks kind of look like wrinkles underneath her eyes, so... I had every right to believe that she was a grandma. Did you have a good nap? Good luck to you. Thank you. So, yeah, we had a pretty good nap. We refreshed our body and soul now, I guess. So, we can now venture off back into the great wilderness uh, that is known as Shiver City. Um, but, yeah, is this guy still going to be around sleeping on the ground? Is he? Is he? Is he? Nope, he is gone. He decided to take himself and leave, which is good, because if he was... Oh my gosh, he became an icicle! Dude, he froze! This is awesome! I didn't expect... He was actually scared of freezing here, but now that I actually defeated him, he had really no point or purpose to leave, or no, I guess, will to leave, because he's frozen unconscious. Hey, all of these have a hat and scarf, except for this guy missing the scarf, and this one missing the hat. It's a snowman! It's a snowman. It's a snowman. It's another one. And another. And another. Okay, I just wanted to make sure none of these things said anything different. Uh-oh. I see something behind this tree. You know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep hitting these trees just to make sure that there's nothing in them that I might skip over potentially. Because the good, the best of secrets are always located or hidden inside of trees. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Chillax. Hey, 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 hey. Chillax piranha plant. What is wrong with you today? Oh, my gosh. Dude, these ice piranha plants are angry. All right. Whoa. What is that? Turn back, come no farther, turn away or I'll eat you. What do you think, scary monster, aren't I? You know you want to run. Oh, heck nah, bro. What? You will regret this. And another battle, I guess. So it's a good thing that I went back and healed. I have no idea what this thing is, but we're going to find out exactly what it is. Come out, Goombario. You can go ahead and give me a little bit of insight as to what we're battling by doing your tattle ability. So... This monster, even I, I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but it looks really terrifying. I get the funny feeling that I had a nightmare about it. Max HP 20, defense power 0. I don't know its attack power, but it must be very powerful judging by its looks. So, that's definitely much more uh, relieving knowing that it has only 20 HP. So, I'm definitely going to try to kill it as quickly as I can. Um, I'm not really sure how many hits it'll take. I probably could have gotten it if I attacked with bow right away. But I just wanted to make sure I had a good insight as to what this thing was. Uh, hopefully it doesn't kill me with whatever attack it just did. That's it? Okay, are you scared yet? No, I'm not scared. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and do power bounce once again. Even though that's kind of an overkill just because it's doing way more damage than he even has. But still, nonetheless, it's good practice for me to get used to the control. Even though I've been playing this game for over a month now, so I should be used to the controls, but it's all good, man. We defeated the monster. No, run away! Hey, they're little star spirits! Oh, hey, that's cute. Look at them. They're like little star spirits in the making. It's no wonder they made it rain uh, star, star pieces or whatever. It was like when I used my star spirit attack. Ah, <gasps> oh, you're Mario. Yes, thank you for coming. How do you do? They call me Merle. Hey, it's the sun. I care for the star kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you, but not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. Dude, this is awesome. This way, please follow me. So this Starborn Valley was directly next to Shiver City. 
Ah, I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frighten strangers so they try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Oh, that's what they were doing. Okay, that makes sense. I, I totally forgive them and I accept their apology or whatever it was they were doing, but... Uh, let's go ahead and talk to him. Clearly, he has something important that he needs to tell me. Come in, please. Let's go ahead and, and have a nice seat in Merlin's house. Now, Mario, you must head well what I'm about... Or you must heed well what I'm about to tell you. What is it, man? This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that the stars are born and raised before raising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the Star Rod from Star Haven, the power of that place has weakened the Star Kids, uh, have... Has weakened and Star Kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent Ninji to my father, Merlone, hoping that I could coax you to come here. Because I have found out where the last Star Spirit is, I came to me... It came to me in a dream, a vision of the last Star Spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held atop Shiver Mountain, which lies to the north. Up top sits the Crystal Palace. The star spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passes, slowly faded from the memories of local people, and now no one can remember how to reach the palace. There is a way, though, but and it involves items that have been passed down in these lands. Here, take this. What is he giving me? He gave me a scarf, an ordinary scarf from Merle in Starborn Valley. This scarf has been passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to the legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City. If you hope to open the way to Crystal Palace, sadly, that's all I know. So, I gotta find something else, and he's not telling me what it is. If the thing, if things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to Star Haven. Such an awful fate would be. Please help them and expel Bowser from the sky. So I uh, he he pretty much came here to tell me the same thing that I was originally doing. Ah yes, Mario, I'd almost forgotten. There's supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. A legend has it, uh, or a legend has been handed down in this valley regarding the the shrine secret. Truth lies not only in the eye, sometimes. Even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find the shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please do not forget it. Alright, I get it. So something about a wall. Either the wall is going to be a wall where I can walk into the invincible wall, or it's going to be a wall that I need to blow up. So, I mean, what else could it be? But, anyways, let's go ahead and check out these little huts. I'm cooking for the Star Kids. They're behaving pretty well. That's a relief. It's probably because they believe you'll get the Star Rod back. I certainly hope you do. So these are the star kids. Tell me a story. Tell me a story about time you saved the star spirit. Okay, so once there was a star spirit, he was very weak, and I went and saved him. The end. Somebody read me a story. It's all about how stars and star haven grab people wishes. So yeah, these guys just, you know, they want to huddle around a nice little fire, read stories to one another, and that's it. It sounds like a good old time here in Starborn Valley. And then this is the uh, another, another Grandma Toad's, you know, house. The slogan of Toad's house is refresh your body and soul. Would you like to take a nap? Sure. So, uh, pleasant dreams. Her house is a little nicer. Now I'm looking at the table. There's nothing on the table, but as soon as I wake up, I bet there's going to be some baked bread. Nope, there's no baked bread. I did sleep well, but I want some baked bread. Like, too bad there, there isn't any of that. Um, so, let's see. I mean, this doesn't look as big as I thought it was going to be. One of those star kids seemed to be playing hide and seek. You haven't seen him, have you? I swear, the second I take my eyes off of him, he always runs off somewhere. What a naughty little star kid. Was it this guy, or was it that guy over there? This dude looks a little suspicious. He's probably playing a nice little game of hide-and-go-seek. What's up, dude? You found me! Hehehe, <laughs> what did you see me, glittering? Hey, do you think I can rise into the sky soon? Uh, you know, it's always good to keep on dreaming, kid. Along with the ninjis, we're taking care of the star kids under, my, uh, under the instructions of the mystic Merle. Or Morel. I don't know what his name is, man. It's very rewarding to think that one of these kids might grow up to be a star spirit. Oh, could you imagine what a happy day that'd be? But unless things get better around here, it'll just be a fantasy that never comes true. Oh, man. That is definitely true, man. So, uh, dude, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Like, there, where's the opening to this supposed wall. I mean, he said something about a wall, right? It could honestly be this. 
Don't let the wall deceive you. All right, here. We're going to use a bomb. We're going to use bombette, you know. We're gonna, maybe she'll be able to bust a hole or something through this wall. Okay, so clearly she didn't do anything with that wall. What about this one right here? Blow up? No, nothing over there, too. Okay, so, um, hmm. Well, let's see. Can I even get back here? I can't even get back there. Well, this is crazy. Where do they expect me to go? Like, for real. I mean, does he want me to go back to Shiver City? I think that's what he said. He said it, it might, it's in Shiver City. I'm going to go give him one more little quick conversation just to make sure, you know, I'm headed towards the right direction. I don't want to, you know, be doing anything wrong. Or unless he's talking about his own wall. I don't know if he'd appreciate me doing this, but yeah. It's, it's, it's wherever. It's probably Shiver City. Mary Penguin of Shiver City should have the other vital item you need if you could use the scarf. It is said the way to the Crystal Palace will open. First, you must go to Shiver City and visit Mayor Penguin. Okay. The mayor has the item that I need. So, that definitely answered the question right there. So, it's a good thing that I went back and talked to him. But, yeah. This is going to be our adventure for the next day, I guess. Where we got to figure out... Oh, no, 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 no. What the heck is that thing? A magic frog. Oh, my gosh. Get me out of here, dude. I ain't trying to battle any. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We uh, we ran into a battle. I have no idea what any of these guys are, but we're going to run away just, you know, for the sake of not having to do any of this just because Mario needs to relax. Oh, man. Look at all these coins I dropped. That's, that's very sad. It makes me sad that I drop all these coins, but you know, what can you do about it? You can't really do much. You just got to accept it, you know, accept the fact that we're weak and we don't really want to battle anybody. We just want to get along with the story. We already had two unexpected battles today. Not a bad thing, but, you know, I just want to get to the next chapter. Guys, Paper Mario Color Splash is about to be released in a month. And I still have three more Paper Mario games to play. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but at least I want to get Paper Mario Thousand Year Door uh, done on the channel before that Paper Mario Color Splash game comes out. So we got we to start moving pretty quickly with this. So yeah, we're headed back to the mayor's house. Uh, I think he lives here. I was I was thinking about the novelist's house, but then I'm like, yeah, he doesn't live here. This is the mayor's house. So hey, what's up, wifey? Oh Mario, did you reach Starboard Valley? Oh, did you see Mario? Yes, I did. Oh, excellent. He said what? An item has been passed on in the city. Yes. All oh, right. Oh, there's something like that. Uh huh. Just a minute. I think I've got it somewhere. Hmm, okay. Let me see. Let me look in the drawers. Okay. I can't find it in there. Oh, it's a bucket. Yes, I found it. Here it is. You got a bucket, a bucket and a scarf. This bucket has been passed down through the years in Shiver City. As Meryl must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. If you use it and the scarf together, the way to Crystal Palace will open. Oh, oh, I get it, guys. I get it. Who knows what that means, though? Ha ha ha. I don't have the slightest clue as how to use them together. Sounds like those star kids in Starborn Valley are in trouble. I hope you do your best to find the little tykes. They're just kids. Best of luck to you. Guys, I actually figured it out. It's pretty simple. So, if you guys remember, uh, you know, we met a couple people. And uh, I think one of them needed a, a bucket more than I did. And, and, and one of them also needed a scarf. They weren't necessarily people per se, but they, they were individuals that, that needed our help. And it makes, it makes sense where we're going to be using these buckets and scarves. It's not going to be on Mario, I'll tell you that, because Mario has no need for any of that. He's kind of just... Mario is, is a strange individual. He doesn't get cold, so he doesn't need any of that, you know, extra winter clothes. Nor does he get hot, I guess, so he doesn't need to, you know, warm himself or, I guess, cool himself down in any way. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and give this guy the scarf, and then we're going to give this one the bucket, and then that should be it. A cool bucket hat. Thank you. A warm scarf. Thank you. What a kind man you are. We thank you. As a reward for your kindness, we should tell you our secret. Oh, the secret is through the wall. I think. Is that it? Oh, it's opening. Here is the door, guys. Oh, man. This is it. The Crystal Palace is, is, is here. Oh, and the door is open. What a magnificent way to do this. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowman. So essentially, they're like, hey, come in here and save us. 
They act like they just rewarded me with some kind of, you know, beautiful garden that I'm just going to go into and, and have all kinds of fruit and whatnot. But that is pretty much going to end off today's episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Next time, we're going to be exploring this area and, you know, figuring out where that seventh star spirit is and all that good stuff. This is chapter seven, guys. We are about to start on chapter seven. And once we're done with this, the end of the game will be upon us. So this is definitely very exciting. But anyways, thank you all for watching once again. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.